Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to solve the problem number 30 that is substring with concatenation of all words. Let's understand the problem first. In this problem, we are given a string S and an array of strings words where all the words are of same length. So we have to return the starting indices of all the substrings in S where the substring contains all the words of the given words array and we can return the indices in any order. So understand the uh, problem using an example. So in the first example, we are given the string and an array of words with uh, that contains two words. One is foo, another is var. So there will only be two combinations using these two words. One is foo var that can be found on ninth index uh, in the given string. Another is bar foo that can be found at the zeroth index of the given string. Let's understand this problem with animation. So we are given these two things, a string S and an array of strings words. First, get the length of the each words and total length of the substring after concatenation. So in this case, the length of each word that is denoted by w is 3 and the length of the concatenated substring is 9 that is denoted by n. Now create a map to store the occurrence of each word in the array. In this case all the words occurred only once in the array. So let's see how we can get the indices using the map. I'm gonna explain for the first index. So as you can see the j is pointing to the first index. Now we have to create a substring of length w from j. Okay, the first substring is bar. Now check the check if the map contains the substring and the value according to the substring is greater than zero. So both the conditions are satisfying for this uh, substring. So we can say the word is available to build the concatenated substring and we can proceed further. Now move j to j plus w for checking the next word and decrease the value by 1 for the substring in the map. So in the same way, get the next substring and the and check the availability from the map. So the next substring is foo. So you can see the both the conditions are satisfying in uh, for this substring. So we can proceed further. So move the j forward and uh, decrease the value of foo uh, from the map. Now check for the next word. Next word is also foo. As you can see, the value according to the foo is zero. That means this, this substring is not available to build the concatenated substring. So it can't proceed further. But still there is an element left in the map. So that means this is not a proper index for the concatenated substring. In the similar way, we have to check for the every indexes where j will be initialized with the value of current index and each time we have to calculate the word counts. So it will be better to create it first and copy at each iteration. Now I am going to show you for a proper index. If we start checking from index 6, then you will see we are getting all the words one by one. So let's check. First substring we are getting foo. Yes, foo is available. So move j forward. Now next substring is bar. Yes, bar is also available. Move j again. Now next substring is da. Yes, da is also available. So move j again. Now you can see we are getting a concatenated substring of length n. That is 9 in this case. Now we can say 6 is a proper index. So add 6 into the result list and in this way you have to check for all the possible indices. So if you like this video you can subscribe my channel for future updates. And uh, it is my first video where I use voice explanation. So let me know in the comments uh, how it was and uh, let's go to LeetCode and implement it.